good morning students today class is manufacturing of steel okay generally the charge for manufacturing of steel it is a pig iron in liquid state in which we just do oxidizing the impurities impurities like silicon and manganese as well as carbon present in the pig iron we need to just eliminate to get a steel okay generally it involves in a two methods one is the acid steel making basic steel making okay this means these two uh, methods are depend upon the nature of a slag produced nature of a slag produced in the different different methods okay so as well as the type of process it is depend upon the raw material if the pig iron if the pig iron is low in sulfur as well as phosphorus we just go for acid steel making that is the main requirement for the to use acid steel making to manufacture the steel the pig iron should be has low sulfur low phosphorus low sulfur low phosphorus that means the slag produced in the acid steel making it is having acid nature it having acid nature as well as the furnace lining also having acid refractory material in the acid steel making coming to the basic steel making in which this process is used to remove the sulfur as well as phosphorus sulfur and phosphorus see in acid steel making we are unable to eliminate the sulfur and phosphorus that's why we are taking pig iron in a very low content of a sulfur and phosphorus okay so coming to the basic process we just eliminate the sulfur and phosphorus silicon manganese and other carbons also so that's why we get the pure steel in the basic steel making method only so in which the uh, in the basic steel making process the furnace lining is basic refractory material only so in these three in the in these two sorry in these two either it is acid steel or basic steel or any manufacturing steel method it has a three stages in first stage it uh, involves uh, eliminate the impurities that is the first stage second stage is we just correct in the carbon value carbon content that means if it is a carbon high we just reduce the carbon value as per our requirement if it is a carbon value is low we just increase the carbon value as per our requirement and third stage is we just add the other metals for a like a alloying elements to get the uh, some properties increase to increase the some properties like a strength or hardness or whatever we just add in first stage remove the impurities in second stage adjust the carbon value in third stage add the some materials as per our requirement this is general procedure of a manufacturing steel coming to the bessemer converter process bessemer converter process so this is the bessemer converter so in which it contains or in this method we just refining the molten pig iron okay so the body of a this bessemer converter is made up of a steel plate it is lined with a silica bricks so the top of this converter is open and the bottom contains tuers to supply the hot air as well as some gases so after that one tronians it is one tronians enables the converter to rotate in three positions we call it as loading position blowing position and pouring position in loading position this is used to the converter is rotated to the horizontal position to receive the charge in a molten state in blowing operation in blowing operation we just upright the converter position to supply the hot air from the bottom by using tuere that means hot uh, nozzles and finally pouring section in pouring section when we get the pure steel so that has to be converter is rotated molten state molten steel into a ladle ante entante manaku ochina steel ni manam separate chestunnam anamata this is the pouring section so it involves three sections loading section blowing section and pouring section in a bessemer converter either it is a acid base or basic whatever in a acid base or basic in bessemer converter we have a three steps loading section blowing section and pouring section next coming to the acid base 
coming to the acid base bismer process see in uh, initially we uh, initially i said that by using acid base converter means the pigarin should be has a low sulfur as well as low phosphorus why means in the acid base bismer process we are unable to eliminate the sulfur as well as phosphorus that's why we need to take pigarin having low sulfur and low phosphorus as well as so the pigarin should be contain carbon 3.5 to 4.3 silicon 2 to 2.5 magnesium 0.75 to 1% and sulfur and phosphorus should be very low this is the requirement of a pigarin for the acid steel for the acid steel bismer process coming to the operation coming to the pro operation see in this operation we just we just oxidizing the impurities like a silicon magnesium and carbon so it contain three steps loading blowing and pouring so coming to the blowing section it is a very very important in this section only we just eliminate the impurities by doing some chemical reactions okay so in we initially when we supply the hot air from the bottom of a converter so it will react with the the reaction will be the ferrous plus oxygen we get the ferrous oxide this ferrous oxide will get react with the silicon manganese carbon which are already present in the pig iron molten state so these three will get react with the feo ferrous oxide so we get the slag sio2 manganese oxide and co co is the carbon monoxide which is the gas which is escapes which escaped into the atmosphere so we get the silicon oxide and manganese oxide okay so when when the operator comes to know steel anedi man pure ochinda ledha ani operators kela telustundi ante that is depend upon the type that is depend upon the this flame flame and what is the flame color how much the length of a flame and what is the luminosity of a flame so by depending on this flame only we conclude that okay silicon is eliminated on magnesium are eliminated or carbon are eliminated we just conclude that when in the first process when the silicon and magnesium are getting oxidizing getting oxidizing the flame this flame is short short and the flame in yellow color and having low luminosity low luminosity and the flame should be short flame short ga untundi yellow color and low luminosity so at the end of the at end of this stage the carbon begins to oxidize first initial ante ne silicon magnesium ayipoyin tarvata at end of the this stage next carbon will get oxidized first ante silicon magnesium avutundi silicon magnesium eppudaithe oxidize avutundi short lo untundi yellow color low luminosity vachina tarvata so ee process end avutunnananga carbon oxidizing anedi start avutundi so appudu flame anedi very long ante carbon oxidizing jarugutunappudu flame is long it is in white color and high luminosity high luminosity but at end of the decarbonization also completed ante silicon magnesium are uh, oxidized carbon also oxidized at the end of the section the flame is in brown color the flame is in brown color or sometimes or uh, this flame will drops ante flame anedi ayipothund anamata and blowing is discontinued so eppudaithe flame anedi drop avutundo lepadha brown color lo kochindo adu drop avutundo so we conclude that all the impurities whatever present in the pig iron in molten state those are eliminated that is silicon manganese and carbon so then we go for pouring section pouring position this is about general operation of a bismer converter bismer converter this is a acid base bismer converter so why am i saying it is a acid base means the uh, the refractory line the lining of this converter it is a acid base and the acid base if it is a only just basic material it is called basic base steel making bismer process okay this is called acid base bismer converter okay so in third stage see initially i said that there are three methods one is the uh, removing impurities setting up of a carbon so if i want to increase the strength of a steel so i will add uh, some metal material materials like a manganese some percentage carbon some percentage and some silicon so we can add to get the strength so this is the general bismer process coming to the uses use are very very important so this acid bismer steel possesses good weldability machinability wear resistant but having a poor plasticity 
it is suitable for rails where the resistance to wear is desired as well as it is uh, used in axles springs wires saws bolts and nuts finally welded tubes this is a use of a acid bismuth steel see only for the acid based steel the difference is by for to use the acid base this is the requirement this is the requirement of a pig iron we must follow to select the acid steel bismuth process thank you any doubts